oh shit, I turned on all of my expressions. I need to remember to check that shit. <laughs> Good morning, my beloveds. Or is it afternoon? It's afternoon. It's evening? Somebody said it was 10 p.m. Sorry. <laughs> this is gonna be kind of laid back. It's, uh, thank you for the sub, that Omega. And I think I got a sub during the intro. Thank you, thank you for that. It's, it's been a really, really long ass time since I've actually drawn anything other than, like, model art. Thank you for the sub, uh, Beat Hepro. Thank you. And the sub, D Wife, D Wife. D-Wife. I'll call you D-Wife. <laughs> it's been a long-ass time, chat. Been a long-ass time. Sorry, this week is gonna be a little bit broken up. Um, yes, I'm doing- I'm doing the virgin killer sweater, boys! I'm doing it. <laughs> I told- I told my boys that I would do a virgin killer sweater. Um, uh, and, and that's- holy shit. Thank you guys for the subs. Thank you, thank you. Um, for everyone that's subbing. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> boy, that's, boy, okay, all right, all right. I'm trying to get on track here. It is, uh, it's gonna be kind of a broken up week because it's just super busy for me. I'm planning a lot of things right now. I, I have a lot of, like, appointments, so it's a little broken up. I would have streamed yesterday, but I had an appointment yesterday. Uh, just a lot of weird shit. Um... Damn, I want 1.7k viewers. Yo, last fucking stream chat. Last fucking stream, we got up to over 3,000. And that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, Thank you guys for the subs. Hey, hey chat. Hey chat. I would really like to dive into this. Hold on. Mm, hydrating. So the thing about uh, drawing art streams, unfortunately, for those of you who are new to this kind of thing, is my model's gonna be super jank because I'm gonna be leaning over my tablet like like this the whole time. Uh, so <laughs> so don't don't judge me too hard. I can't control it. Um, yeah, we're doing the Virgin Killer sweater. Uh, also, thank you guys for the bits. Um, it's kind of a lot for me to keep track of lately, uh, and I'm really sorry. I really like to individually thank people, but I kind of- I kind of can't anymore, and that's really fucked up for me. <laughs> and I'm- I'm- I'm sorry. What's a virgin killer sweater? Should I be worried? Hmm. No, I think you should be excited. I think you should be excited. Hey, actually, does anybody have any music suggestions? Otherwise, we're just gonna listen to Glass Animals because I'm in the mood for it. I should go completely sideways. Okay. We're just gonna do the stream like this, I think. <laughs> carpenter Brute. We already did a, a, a Carpenter Brute stream, though. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Carpenter, carpe nah, 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 chat. Nah, we, we just did one. We will, we'll return though. We will return. Fury OSD, but that's the same thing as Carpenter Brute. <laughs> doesn't matter if it's copyright. Eh, it doesn't matter as long as I'm talking over it. I I've played copyrighted music for ever since I started streaming and <laughs> occasionally bits and pieces of my VODs get muted, but nothing. Nothing crazy. Am I gonna stream Monster Hunter Rise? Yes, actually. Oh shit, god damn it. I went to the grocery store today. Um, <laughs> hold on. I I'll explain in a minute. Uh, thank you for the bits. I'm new to your stream. I've seen you on YouTube. Love your Yakuza playthrough. Also, first bit I'm sending a streamer because I think you deserve it. Thank you. I, I would continue. I think I should probably continue that Yakuza playthrough. It just wasn't doing very well, uh, viewers wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot something. I went to the grocery store and I had told myself, bitch, Junie, look me in the eyes. Next time you go to the grocery store, pick up a Switch so that you can play Monster Hunter Rise. And I forgot. Like, I reminded myself like every single fucking day and I still forgot. <laughs> I'm a dipshit. Wait, hold on. Somebody... Whoa, thank you for the five gifted subs, Seraphim Zara. Wait, somebody, 
You gave it like a good music. Yeah, Daft Punk. Sure, let's listen to Daft Punk. Fuck it. Um, give me a minute to find a good playlist. Or do you guys have a, like a specific album that you want? Yeah, let's let's send off our sweet sweet boys. Um, rip Daft Punk. Uh, but yeah, sure. Best of Daft Punk. That'll work. Um, anyways. Oh, that's might might be a little loud. Hold on. God, my notifications are so backed up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, and that's too quiet. Discovery or Ram. Okay, we're listening to some of Alright, either way, I'm gonna dive into this chat. I'm gonna get into it. Um, mm -mm -mm. suffering from success. I know, man, doesn't, doesn't it suck, chat? <laughs> it's a little quiet. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm here to murder all of the bad vibes, chat. Uh, that's what we're up to today. Hey, so it's been a really long time since I've done art. So I sort of did a, uh, a skeleton just to sort of start myself off. Just like a little sketch. Hmm. I tend to get really zoned in when I'm doing art, so this is gonna be kind of a chill stream. Is it Sans? Yeah, this is this is um this is this is Sans. <laughs> Almost 500 Pog. Do I have advice for artists? No, I'm gonna be honest. I'm like the last person you should ask for advice because I haven't sat down and done art for <sighs> oh my god, like months. Aside from, um, like, model art. I think she wants to be- I want her to be, like, kind of grumpy. Like, kind of bashful. And I'll come back to it in a minute. Have I tried Loop Hero? It's like cocaine, but way more addicting. Yo, one of my friends has been playing so much Loop Hero lately. Uh, thank you for the gifted sub, Mr. Funny Kens. Fuzzy Kens. Yeah, it's fuzzy. <laughs> it's- yeah, it's Sans. Yeah, actually, fucking, hold on. Give me one minute. Uh, just for you guys, okay? Uh, let's just make it like that. And... Yeah, it's, we, we got Sans the skeleton over here. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Mm, thank you for the sub, Seraph and Zara and Professor Lamb. I feel like I can actually catch up. Oa Oa for us. I'm gonna be honest. I don't get the Oa Oa thing. Is it like a? Is it like a hoodlum thing? Like Oa Oa? I I, I don't get it. Oh, like Oda Oda. Oh, okay. All right. Dogs go Oa. I I don't get. It. <laughs> okay. Oa Oa is the masculine version of Ada Ada. Ah, I see, I see. It's a chihuahua that says Oa Oa TikTok. What? Hold on. I gotta find out. Give me a minute. Give me just a minute, chat. Chihuahua. Oa Oa? It's a dog named Pudgy? Oa Oa dog. Ultimate. Oa Oa? Sorry, give me like one minute. I just, I need to understand. I need, I need a chat. My boy Junior here challenges you to an Awa Awa of. Yo, show him how it's done. Look at, let me get an Awa Awa. What the fuck? <laughs> Is that what you guys want from me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Joel, baby, what's up? <laughs> Joel, did you hear my awa awa? My awa awa awa! <laughs> Please 
kill your bad vibes? I'm doing my best, okay? Thank you for the sub, Greeny. I'm doing my best. What's up with me today? What do you mean, Joel? Wait, Joel, okay, no, my fucking Twitter post, right? Hey, actually, no, fuck it, we're talking about this. Stop the music. Hey, guys, did you guys see the trailer for the new Spirit movie? I posted about this shit on Twitter, okay? And I'm like, okay, okay, listen, I'm gonna- I'm gonna talk for a minute here. <laughs> I'm gonna talk for a minute here. <laughs> this is super important. <laughs> so, they, um... They released a, a, a trailer for a new, like, spirit stallion of the Cimarron movie, okay? And I'm having a goddamn mental breakdown over here, because I'm gonna need some water. This is gonna be a minute. Hold on. <clears throat> so for those of you who are a little bit out of the loop, uh, Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron, was a, a, a 2D animated movie that was released by uh, DreamWorks back, damn, fuck, like, was it early 2000s? It was like early 2000s, maybe. Uh, and this movie was fucking fantastic, okay? S S DreamWorks has, like, they started doing these 2D animated movies. They did, like, Spirit, they did Road to El Dorado, they did uh, The Prince of Egypt, and all these movies were, like, generally really well-liked. Uh, some of them, like, were kind of hit or miss. From what I understand, a lot of them didn't do very well in the box office, but they, like, DreamWorks went in a completely different direction than Disney 2D animated movies. Disney, like, had this very heavy focus on, like, romance, and, like, like, even if it was sort of an adventure, like, it all had this very heavy emphasis on, like, romance and, like, coming of age and stuff, and DreamWorks was sitting over here, and they started making these 2D animated movies about fucking colonization and biblical prophecies. <laughs> And one of these movies was Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron, which was a really, really weird movie for a few reasons. One of them was, <laughs> one, it was about colonization. It was maybe, like, kind of, it's hard to explain. It's sort of highbrow for kids. There was very, very little dialogue in the entire movie. There was... It was sort of this man versus nature thing, but from the perspective of nature, which was, like, pretty cool. And people overall really, really like this movie. But, <laughs> but DreamWorks saw that people really liked this movie, kids and adults, because, like, it was a movie that kids and adults both got really fucking into for a minute. And... <laughs> and DreamWorks looked at this shit and they were like, hmm... You know what we gotta do with this, like, weirdly gritty man versus nature animated movie? <laughs> it's, like, sad, too, because, like, like, nature lost. Like, because there aren't any, like, wild horses in America anymore, and, like, it's very heavily colonized, and indigenous people are treated like shit. <laughs> and, and Disney was like, <laughs> let's horse girlify it. Not Disney, DreamWorks, fuck. <laughs> was like, let's make it a horse girl movie. And they were like, they made this 70 episode, like, CGI spinoff about, like, a little 10-year-old girl who, like, tames spirit and, like, plays with spirit and, like, her horse girl friends. <laughs> because they were like... <laughs> I just don't fucking understand, chat. I don't fucking understand. How do you fuck it up so badly? How do you miss the whole point? And now it's getting a movie. The CGI spinoff about the horse girl that, that got spirit, the, the fucking unbreakable spirit, <laughs> to play with her and her horse girl friends is getting a spinoff! I forgive you, Joel. I forgive you. And that's why I made this post on Twitter and I was like, can't wait for DreamWorks to release The Prince of Egypt Gone Wild where he raises three baby T-Rexes set to a Taylor Swift soundtrack. <laughs> I can't fucking cope. I can't fucking cope, chat. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, we're going back into this shit. 
<laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't fucking do this anymore, chat. <laughs> Yo, I straight up don't remember how to draw hair. Straight up don't remember. I sound- I'm very passionate about movies in general, chat. I like- I don't know, man. I just- it, it makes me- I used to be someone who had, like, the very strong opinion that it's entirely up to the viewer whether, like, a bad sequel or, like, a remake, like, ruins the sanctity of a movie. Like, I see people that are, like, very upset about, like, oh, no, the Lion King live-action adaptation. I'm like, yeah, it's stupid, but, like, it's really up to you if it, like, bothers you that much. But now I'm, like, just fucking- <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> They've committed a crime. <laughs> Alright, I think I- I had to put some hair that sort of, like, drifts over here, too. <clears throat> also, I'm really sorry I'm missing people's bit messages. I- it's just so much. <laughs> What are my brush settings? What brush settings? Are you kidding me? I've never not used the default brushes. <laughs> I'm just a hobbyist, chat. I don't even think too hard about this stuff. Mm, we're gonna put the highlight, like, right there. Now I breathe- Fuck you, man! <clears throat> the spirit tragedy really takes it out of a guy. <laughs> it does! I'm gonna be thinking about that shit for like a week. And then it's gonna come out and I'm gonna have to think about it all over again. Oh, this is a uh, clip paint studio, by the way. DreamWorks, they were, bu were bought by Illumination? Wait, what? It wasn't the other way around? Man. <sighs> that sucks, man. That sucks. Oh my god, thank you for the 10,000 bits, Slenderius. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I, let me read your message. It's just already... Uh, any chance of Moth Mommy Discord server? I actually have a Discord server, but it's locked because I made it when I had maybe, like, 2,000, 3,000 Twitch followers, and I just can't. Like, we, I don't have enough mods to facilitate this many people. I just, I just don't think I can right now. In the future? In the future, though. Oh, sorry, it is, um, Clip Paint Studio is the program. I'm actually not sure how I'm gonna do the wings here. <clears throat> what if... Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it. Maybe? Make the thighs thicker? Perhaps, chat, perhaps. Blue Sky is getting shut down while they were making a new fucking- Wait, what movie? Thoughts on Megamind? Megamind is so underrated, dude. So underrated. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna fit these tendril things in, though. I'm gonna- I started rigging because of you, now a week into it, not a compliment. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> Good luck. I actually really enjoy rigging. I love that giant blueberry dumbass so much. I know, he's a good-ass boy! I love my boy. He didn't do- I mean, like, yeah, he did- he did wrong, but like... Did he? Like, did he, though? <laughs> 
Oh, I thank you for the bits, General Scraggy. Okay, we're gonna put eye spots right there just to hold them into place. Have I seen Saint uh, Try Try Ninny? I haven't. No. What's my my first Monster Hunter game that I actually owned was Four Ultimate, and I put like. I know these are pussy numbers uh, for most people, but I put like 400 hours into 4 Ultimate. Uh, I started playing it when I was like 15. And I took that shit so seriously. I was like HR like 227 or something when I stopped playing. Which, speaking of which, I would really like to play some Monster Hunter on stream soon. <clears throat> You guys can judge my- <laughs> I'm very new to Great Sword, so you guys can judge me. What's my favorite monster? I used to say Devil Joe, but honestly... Um... I'm coming around on Glavinus a lot lately. Like, I always thought Glavinus was cool, but I'm starting to really like Glavinus. Valstrax is also fucking awesome. Gogmazios is like one of my favorite Elder Dragons. Um... I'm a great sword main. Well, I'm a, a new great sword main. Not Kizu. I know. I know. Even with Kizu's amazing feed. Feed? feed? Theme! <laughs> What's the worst take I'm willing to give? Oh, that is a dangerous question. Holy shit. Um. Man, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Sorry, Kizu's theme. I was trying to make a joke. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna have to think about that one. I have some hot takes. Uh, I'm just trying to think of like the like the funniest one. Oh, I fucking hate Subway. I've never enjoyed Subway. <clears throat> Sub Subway is the most cursed fast food chain. Cannot fucking stand it. Not that hot. I know it's not that hot. I'll think of a better one, though, I promise. Or maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe I'll just focus on what I'm doing here. <laughs> Have I ever seen Sinbad? I actually haven't seen Sinbad. It's like one of the only like DreamWorks animated movies I haven't seen. And also, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Waifu is laifu. Thank you, thank you. Man, I don't know how to make this hand work. Hold on, I need to try to mimic this for myself. Okay, so... <clears throat> I sort of like grips. <sighs> Whatever, I'll fix it better. Fix it later. Maybe. Actually, no, I'm... I say as I start fixing it right now. <laughs> it's so dumb. Hmm. Hmm. Can I think of any good movie takes that I have? Have I seen Magi? No, I haven't. I've seen, like, it. Like, I've seen it, like, sitting around before. I've never watched it. Hot takes. Hmm. Like a podcast except better? Yo, that's really good. I'm, I'm glad people think I'm, like, a podcast. Sometimes, sometimes I run out of interesting things to say, but I'm doing my best here. <laughs> My mouth isn't moving. I know, I know. I explained it at the beginning of the stream, but because this is an art stream, I'm leaning over my tablet and it's very hard for my face cap ca capture to keep up. Mm, thank you for the sub nerf. Uh, yes, and for the people asking, yeah, yeah, I'm probably gonna play Monster Hunter Rides on stream. Is it hard to find shoes that fit on my moth feet? I don't- I don't wear shoes, chat. They're just out there. Um, all exposed. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm looking like a fucking shrimp right now. My poor back. <laughs> what is the game you feel like has the most appealing art style? Um... I think Hyper Light Drifter is maybe one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. 
Uh, I also really like Hollow Knight. Uh, Okami also has a very beautiful art style. Which, speaking of which, I'll be getting back to gaming streams soon. It's just, I'm working on trying to get, <laughs> trying to adapt here. Uh, thank you for the sub, Dammy. I'm, I'm still adjusting. It's going really well, though, honestly. I'm honestly just excited. I used to be really nervous, like, when I started blowing up like this. Uh, I say used to be, like, this wasn't literally, like, a week ago. Uh, but now I'm just really excited. I've had all kinds of conversations with some really, really interesting people lately. Like, people I had no idea would ever notice me, you know? Have I cried while watching playing something? Yes, a hundred percent. I cried at the end of... Uh, in my defense, I was, uh, like... 13 or something when I played it. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky made me cry my fucking eyes out. That game was so sad. Uh, very bittersweet. It's bittersweet things that make me cry. Um, and oh my god, dude. That was a weirdly heavy, heavy, heavy installment to the Pokemon franchise. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. Have I played Undertale? Yes, I also cried at the end of the Undertale Pacifist run, 100%. Um, let me... let me think a minute. Who... Um, I think I teared up at the end of Hyper Light Drifter. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, is this... I'm getting rid of this. <laughs> no more Sans Eye. Do I remember Skylanders? No, I haven't. I have not. <clears throat> I haven't played Ori in the Blind Forest yet, but people keep telling me that I should. Yeah, dude, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was so good. So good. They were, like, very, very different than the regular Pokemon game installments. They were much more character-driven. Honestly, the stakes in Mystery Dungeon were way higher than they are in the regular, like, Pokemon games. Um, but yeah, dude, Explorers of Sky is the best one. Uh, and I cried, and you will too. <laughs> it's a video game soundtrack that gets... My friend truly loves you. Can you say... Oh, shit, hold on. I just lost chat. Uh... Hello, Susine. So seen. Hel Let me start over. Okay, sorry. Hello, so seen. And that's. There you go. There you go. Opinion on multiple mods trying the OJ popcorn? Fuck you guys. <laughs> Hate your asses. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god. I don't. Actually, is this a hot take? I watched the first few minutes of Deadpool, and, um, how do I, how do I put this? Uh, I didn't like it. I did not like the humor. I just, like, I don't know, man. Like, I can get why people liked it, but I think I was just in a mood, and I was like, I don't know, just like very predictable humor. Or maybe- hold on, chat. Or was it Deadpool 2 that I watched? Fuck, I actually don't remember. I don't- I don't remember, so don't cancel me. <laughs> but, um... Same movie. Yeah, that's kind of how little I care about Deadpool. Which, like, I'm sorry, but, like, once you go to a convention, like, every year, and there's always one fucking guy dressed up as Deadpool acting like a weirdo. <clears throat> like, you've kind of just seen it all. You're kind of just done with it after that. There's always at least ten of them. I know. There's so many. I wish we could get more, like... 
I don't know. Maybe Jack Sparrow's acting like weirdos. I mean, I know, like, that Pirates of the Caribbean is long irrelevant, but, like, we can have someone other than Deadpool, right? I'll try a wing spread out at some point, yeah. Oh, sorry, for the people asking about my schedule. Hey, Scara, what's up? Scara, 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 what's up, what's up? Long irrelevant- yeah, dude, no, I'll stand by that. Pirates of the Caribbean peaked with the first movie. Uh, Johnny Depp is always a, a fucking amazing actor, but boy, oh boy, did they make too many of them. And just like Game of Thrones, uh, <laughs> something with a massive amount of cultural impact is very, very easily ruined by bad sequels. Hmm, thank you for the sub, Ems. Is there a manga that made me cry? Oh, shit. I mean, there's plenty of anime. That might be the better question. Madoka Magica made me cry my fucking eyes out every time I watch it. Uh, your name also makes me cry. Honestly, in order to make me cry, like, I-, I sad things? Oh my god! Alistair! Bud, my man! Thank you for the 20 gifted subs, Alistair. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so the thing with things like that is that it's not sad things that make me cry. It's like bittersweet things that make me cry. So like, your name had a very bittersweet ending. Um... Madoka Magic ha had a very, very bittersweet ending. Uh, and thank you for this gifted sub, Gimme Flish. Gimme Flish. <clears throat> I haven't seen One Dwight Priority yet. Uh, not yet. Oh, I really like the end of A Silent Voice. That one almost got me. That one got me good. Oh, fuck, yeah, Steins Gate almost got me too. Um, shit, uh... <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub, Reaganomics. Okay, are we... This is starting to look okay. It's starting to look okay. I'm remembering. I'm remembering, chat. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Angel Beats, yo, fuck that. I was watching Angel Beats with my brother, and I did almost cry in front of him. <laughs> so fucked up, man. Uh, I don't know. I I really appreciate that Angel Beats was able to be, one, like, a really, really good comedy, uh, while also just being totally fucking devastating. God, the fucking- oh my god, the- 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 <laughs> The scene, like, with the- like, the, the subway, like, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? When, like, everybody is, like, writing up their, like, o organ donor cards. Like, that shit almost fucking broke me. That shit almost broke me. Okay, um, honestly, this looks okay. Let's flip it. <laughs> I'm bracing myself. No, I haven't seen Clan Ad. I have not. Um, let's flip. Alright, I'm holding my breath here. Oh, hey. Actually. You know what? Um, the flip was not too bad. I'm just gonna flip it back. I don't even have to worry about it. Okay, hold on. I need to break all of my joints. <laughs> Your art is kind of lewd. What, do you think so? You think it's kind of lewd? 
Yeah, maybe a little. Why did I flip it? Oh, to see- because flipping your canvas kind of helps you see, um, like, if you've made any serious errors. Oh my god, Death Parade. I have not seen that one yet. Yo, I'm gonna say, uh, anime does not fuck around with, like, purgatory stories or, like, afterlife stories. Hmm, thank you for the sub. How nug nug. Is this- is this working? I don't know, chat. It's been so long since I've drawn hair. <laughs> How long have I drawn, like, seriously? Um, I didn't start taking it seriously until I was about 16, so I'm totally gonna date myself, so probably about five years. Another. Wait, another made you cry? I thought another was fun to watch, but like, just in a, like, like in a popcorn movie kind of way. Oh, I'm gonna say Terror and Resonance really got me. I don't- does Terror and Resonance hold up? Because I, I- it seemed like the internet was very, very divided about it. Uh, and I- to be fair, I watched it when I was like 16, but man, the ending of that was so fucking unfair. So unfair. I was just really upset when I watched that. No longer human, it's by Dazai. Yeah, I'm, um... I'm familiar with Dazai as an author. <laughs> and I'm gonna blame a bunk of stray dogs for that one. I haven't read it yet, though. Hmm... I guess we're doing line art. I kinda don't want to. Kinda don't want to do line art chat, but we're doing it anyways. Cause otherwise this stream would already be over if I just decided not to do line art. <laughs> well, I need to resize this. Uh, canvas size. Three, three. Uh, hold on, I have a thing in my mouth. Okay. Please give your opinion on ants. Fine, I'll give my opinion on ants. You guys watch Ants Canada? Oh shit. Um, you guys familiar with Ants Canada? <laughs> he has like this uh, YouTube channel where he makes ant enclosures. Like ant farms. Uh, and they're all very, very beautiful. And he tries to make them as like aesthetically pleasing as possible. And he like films his ants doing shit. And he's like, you'll never... <laughs> like, you'll never guess what my ants did today. And he's like extremely animated and like enthusiastic. And I'm like, aw, I love this man and his ants. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, VOA. He's like, <laughs> you just selected layer blue. Oh, okay. Mm. Thank you for the sub, Project 5 Hive. Yeah, he seems sweet. He seems cute. Oh, what? How thin do I want this to be? It's got to be the most obscure shit I've ever heard of. It's actually a really popular channel. Hold on. How many subs does this guy have? I think it's just because he's very high energy and, um... Oh, hold on. He's very high energy and he puts in, like, a ton of work to his, like, ant farm enclosures. Canada. I'm sure he has like more than a- yeah, he has like four million subs. Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> I turned that- <laughs> Sorry. Ooh Thank you for the 5,000 bit slender, yeah. Sorry, I just saw that you, um... Send the about section that I already answered the question about Discord. Yeah, no worries. Don't even worry about it. What are my opinions on centipedes? I would never hold one, but centipedes are pretty cool. Can we- yeah, I'll yeet the child for you. Of course. There you go. Ba- ba! Get out of here. <laughs> You're not welcome here. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Rage Wolf. Yeah, no, I'm not- I'm not turning on baby mode right now. I kind of just want to, like, 
not be distracted by anything. And yet, here I am, streaming art. <laughs> oh, why do I do this? <laughs> What's my all-time favorite anime? Um, probably Hunter x Hunter. My, my top three, and I know I answer this like every stream because people always ask, but my top three are Hunter x Hunter, Evangelion, Madoka Magica. Does this look okay? Oh, I broke my model. Hmm. Ugh. I don't like this. I'm just gonna maybe try to keep it simple for a minute. See if that looks better. Mm, thank you, missed over mouth. Yeah, I can see that now. Sorry if I missed some things. Let me, um... Actually, it might be better for me to open up my, uh... Sorry, give me one moment. Streamlabs. It might be better if I just have my feed open on screen just so that I can see it better. You have human ears under the hair or are your antenna just your ears? It's a secret chat. What's my opinion on the... Oh, I don't... I'm gonna be honest. I... I really... Like, when I heard that Madoka Magica had a sequel, I was kind of, like, disappointed. Mm. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I missed a lot of donos. I'm really sorry. I really, really am. Um, can I just catch up on these really quick? I think I'm going to. Uh, thank you for the five dollars, uh, Aya Ko. Uh, I love your chill vibes and your art inspires me. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the fifty dollars, Anthony. I mean, I'm here because I heard there was a cute moth girl around. It looks like the rumors are true. That's me. That's me. And thank you for the fifty dollars. Uh, thank you for the fifty dollars. Just a tall guy. I'm normally working when you stream, so here's to make up for all the streams I miss. Keep being you. I'm doing my best, chat. I'm doing my best. And uh, thank you for the twenty dollars, Soul Reaper. Hey Juniper, I've been watching you the last couple weeks. It's been a blast. Super laid back and fun. Keep up the good work. Have you seen the newer Made in Abyss movie? The ending with Pushka rush wrecked me. I actually uh, read the manga, so I didn't watch the movie because I had read the manga like before it came out. Um, but yeah, shit's fucked. <laughs> shit's really fucked. <laughs> yeah, so I I heard um. I heard that Madoka Magica had a sequel movie, and I was, like, disappointed, because the ending to Madoka Magica was so fucking good. It was so perfect. And, like, the fact that the movie kind of undoes the original ending, just, like, I don't know. It leaves a really bad taste in my mouth. Hero, thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it, man. Rebellion was good. Don't worry. It was a good-ass movie, but I like to pretend that it isn't canon because it just kind of makes me sad <laughs> because I, I just thought it was really really unnecessary for Madoka Magica to get a sequel How's my day so far? My day's been really good. I went grocery shopping. I'm gonna try a whole bunch of new recipes. Uh, I'm gonna learn how to make Amu rice, which should be pretty easy, right? But I actually, I started watching this, uh, um, this, what is this? Okay. Tips on streaming or just good quality? I Tips on a mic for streaming. Oh, I'm using a, a Blue Yeti Nano, which is honestly not a great mic. But it's what I had. I started watching this really cute, um, like, uh... Uh, like Japanese chef on YouTube. I'm gonna see if I can find her real quick because she's so charming and she's so funny and I just love her so 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 much. Um, what second? Oh, uh, what's playing? Uh, Daft Punk. Where this is Touch by Daft Punk. Uh, let me see if I can find her. Where is she? There she is. I'm just gonna put her in chat because I think she's so cute. 
Oops, sorry, that's loud. Hi, everybody. Today, she's fun. I like her. Hey, my God! Thank you for the five gifted subs of the Sea Camp. Yes, I do actually listen to Mystery Skulls, Jay. What's my opinion on the Evangelion movies? I think they're fun. I kind of don't consider them canon, though. I know some people are like, the <laughs> redo movies are a sequel, and I'm like, what a fun idea. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, though. <laughs> What's my favorite state? <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, have you guys ever been to Wisconsin? Because I went to Wisconsin for a little bit, and Wisconsin was really fucking weird. Like, I don't think you guys would get it if you had never been to Wisconsin, but people in Wisconsin are just super obsessed with cheese. Like, every billboard you will look at is like, we sell cheese, we got the good cheese, good cheese over here, excellent cheese right here. And I'm like, what? What kind of dream world is this? And that's not an exaggeration. Like, they really like their cheese in Wisconsin. Hmm, did I- oh, hold on. Uh, did I study art at an art college or am I self-taught? I am self-taught. Uh, I actually went to college for law. And I kind of just, uh, take art very casually. I honestly wish I had taken some classes on, like, drawing landscapes or anything like that. Or, like, I don't know. I, I, cause I, like, look at some of my peers who actually went to school for art, and I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, you can really tell the difference. It's my favorite astronomical object. Damn, I don't know. Um, shit, dude. There's a lot of cool things in space. I would have to think about it. I really like black holes. I know that's a super generic answer, but like, come on. Like, they're so cool that they break physics. <laughs> like, it doesn't get better than that. Nothing better than this. <laughs> Just black holes breaking physics. Am I already practicing law or taking classes? Um, I actually, right now, uh, I just graduated with my bachelor's. I'm currently working as a freelance paralegal. Um, don't tell anyone I said this, though, but I'm actually making way more money from streaming than being a freelance paralegal. <laughs> radiant isotope <laughs> man are y'all just gonna slowly pick me apart do you want to know my favorite um i don't know plant fiber <laughs> you know there's a possibility that an electromagnetic black hole could exist instead of gravity that sounds fucking lit love that energy for her It's my favorite stage of protein synthesis. Please stop yelling at me. <laughs> Cat's eye nebula. Mmm, beautiful. Favorite organ? The ones that are the easiest to remove. Yeah, so skin. Makes sense. Favorite fandom? Ugh. <laughs> That's a question you can ask me. <laughs> I won't stop you. 
Oh shit. There's an exoplanet called J1-something that has a huge ring system around it. If it was in the place of Saturn, you could see the rings from Earth. Ooh, cool. Uh, how many seven-year-olds do you think you could take before they take you? I don't know. Seven-year-olds are feral. I think I could... Hmm. I could definitely take two. I think... I think once there were three seven-year-olds, I think... I, I think I might start to get a little bit overwhelmed <laughs> by the <laughs> by their feral energy. <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna put the eyebrows on top when I'm done. Fuck it. Fuck it. Why does it break? Oh, you think you could fight off four? Well, look at this badass. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Four whole seven year olds? Nah, man. Not a chance. Not a chance. How do my eyebrows levitate? Uh, it's one of my powers. I'm the the floating eyebrow goddess. All right, I'm just gonna come back to that. You ever play Celeste? Actually, yes, I really enjoyed Celeste. Hmm. I'll be honest, I don't even know what my hair clip looks like. <laughs> okay. Fortunately, I have my model sitting right here, so I can kind of just look at her. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Close enough. How does one art? Listen, man, I... I don't... I wish I could help you. <laughs> but this is really scary for me. <laughs> oh, why am I doing this with a little three pixel eraser? What am I even doing? I'm just gonna just draw these on top on this layer. I'll come back to them. Do I know what a PGD is? Actually, no. No. You want to be a VTuber where you suck at art? You can commission it. Unfortunately, it's kind of going to set you back a lot, just depending on the quality you're going for, because you're going to get what you pay for, unfortunately. <laughs> Favorite question from chat so far? <laughs> I think the person that asked me what my worst hot take was. <laughs> That's a good-ass question. What are my favorite drugs? Man, I don't know. I'm just a boring, um, alcoholic, unfortunately. No, I'm kidding. I'm not an alcoholic. I do enjoy some wine, though. And some whiskey. I like whiskey. And coffee. Shit. And coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't coffee a drug to most insects? I'm pretty sure coffee is a drug to everything. Oh my god, it has been so long since I've had to draw fluff. Which moth model is my favorite right now? I really like my current model, actually. I think it's... It's 
taken elements from both my uh, my version 3 and version 2 models and kind of combined them. Not even a year of drinking issues into whiskey. Actually, actually, here's a here's a, a, a hypothetical for you guys. Or a dilemma. A dilemma is probably the better word. Thank you for the sub, Monkey Joan. So, in America, uh, for those of you who don't live here, uh, the legal drinking age is 21 years old. However, I... Like, hold on, this is a little loud, I can't talk. However, I, like very, very many of my peers, started quite a bit earlier than that. <laughs> uh, cause, yeah, yeah, I know, legal age there is 18, I know, it's crazy in the United States, okay? So, so here's the dilemma, is that because the legal drinking age in here is 21 years, uh, and, and people are drinking anyways, not being 21, uh, like, a lot of, like, 18-year-olds and shit are, like, like, binge drinking and, like, getting alcohol poisoning and, like, passing out and shit, and, and nobody wants to call an ambulance on them because... They're worried that they're going to get in trouble for underage drinking, that the kid is going to get in trouble, that th their friends are going to get in trouble for soliciting it, that somebody's going to get in trouble for distributing the alcohol to them. And so people just don't, like, call an ambulance for situations like this because they're scared. Now, I realize that most hospitals in America actually kind of have, like, a, um, what's the term? Like, a we won't ask questions policy when... Uh, a like uh, an underage person with alcohol poisoning comes in, but people still don't like to call an ambulance because their parents are gonna find out and they're they're gonna get in trouble with their parents. So the issue is that like a bunch of underage people like will die of alcohol poisoning because people are worried that they're gonna get in trouble with the law if they try to get help. So I guess like the dilemma here is that like. If we if we lowered like the legal age limit for drinking in America, would we actually cut down on like alcohol induced deaths? Or would we make them like more common because they're more easily accessible for people? Yes, no, maybe. Reduce. 50-50? Nah. Hmm, hmm. It's hard to say, right? What happened to baby mode as a reward? Honestly, I just forgot to turn it back on. <laughs> it's 50-50. Hmm, hmm. It's just hard to say. Although, I do think it is weird that in America, it is, like... Our legal drinking age is weird. I would like to compare it to the statistics of other countries. I just don't really have the means to, you know? I'm very curious about that kind of thing. Anyways. We'd probably cut them down here in Europe. Oh shit, I wanted to read that. Uh oh, my chat's too fast. Uh, here in Europe, we can drink as early as 16 and there are not as many problems as in the US. Mm hmm. I just came here to say, uh, Angel, you can't charge a minor for drinking if they are calling an ambulance. Yes, I, I, I'm aware of this. However, people don't do it anyways because they're worried that they're still going to get in trouble with their parents, you know? Sorry, I got a vibe real quick. Yeah, well, you could get drafted at 18 but not drink. Fuck this place, man. <laughs> it's so... Man... Man. What's my favorite culture? I can't... Oh, an ambulance would cost more than a hundred dollars. Just two trucks instead of drinking. Yeah. Thank you for the gifted sub, very Moth. Um, I'm gonna come back up to the hair. That's gonna s fucking kick my ass later.
Hmm. UK averages two intox motor vehicles per 100k, where the US is about nine per 100k. Oh, interesting. That's really interesting. What's my least favorite type of anime character? Usually the protagonist. <laughs> Um, usually the protagonist are, like, the very vapid, uninteresting love interest. Uh, this is Aerodynamic by Daft Punk. And yes, I love the edits. I just- I didn't respond to them because I kind of have been getting a lot of messages lately. Actually, it doesn't make sense for there to be a booby line there. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong, this song is totally copyrighted. I just have never gotten my VODs muted before. <laughs> I mean, I have, but like, as long as you're talking over the music, they kind of don't care. Yo, actually... Fuck, I want to listen to pop culture now. Give me a minute. I just really like that sample. Am I a guy? Do I look like a guy? <laughs> God, I miss Maddie on. I'm a dude? Honestly, like, before I was uh, a streamer, I had a lot of people on the internet that thought I was a guy for the longest time. Because I, <laughs> I just like drawing hot anime babes. And the thing about people who draw hot anime babes is people just kind of always assume that they're men. Have I listened to Hard Bass before? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do listen to Hard Bass. Might not be a guy, but is a total bro. Hey, I'm here to, I'm here to bring good vibes, chat. <laughs> do I like to draw hot anime girls because they look nice, or do you like girls in general? I just think they look nice. I'm um, I'm kind of straight. Kind of. <laughs> no, I'll let that one sit. I'll let that one sit. Some people make me question it. I'm gonna say, uh... <laughs> Dua Lipa? Dua Lipa makes me question it. Dua Lipa makes me think. Oh my god, I suck at line art. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> <sighs> I'm doing good. Thank you, Billy Black. It's just been so long since I've been able to do line art. You're probably vanilla straight. It's very normal to question it. Yeah, I think I'm... Yeah. Yeah. I think so, too. <laughs> Juniper can have a little gay as a treat. Thank you for the sub, Cloudbringer. No, it's because, um... So I actually, back in the day, I used to only draw, like, male characters. Um, because, like, I don't know. It just was, like, what I was into at the time. Uh... 
I don't remember what inspired me to start drawing, like, more female characters. But I think it had something to do with, uh, the fact that, like, <sighs> they just got so much more attention. And it's, like, it's a horrible thing to say, but, like, <laughs> drawing cute anime girls just gets more attention than, than my cute anime boys ever did. I don't know, man. I don't... I don't think the f I, I don't like to say that the female form is more aesthetic. I think people have things that they are into. Uh, and right now, one of the the widest consumers of like anime related content um, are like straight guys. And, and that's I don't know. That's like why like VTubers are a thing, you know. I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all. It's just sort of like what the demographic is right now. So I got I ended up getting really into drawing like cute girls. Uh, and I got really into, you know, cute girl designs and stuff. And I really, really like them, and I enjoy drawing them a lot. I can make millions on free art. I know! I know you can make so much! And yes, I have seen the Shelter anime music video. It's very good. Very, very good. Are there unironic male VTubers? Yeah, there's plenty. There's a, like, you know, there's hollow stars. God. Man, I usually, like, zone in and take it, like, really slow with line art, but I'm- this is, like, gonna be a little bit sketchy today. Favorite air that I breathe in? I don't know! Stop yelling at me! <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> hmm, this is cute. Have a good one, cake man Favorite food? I've been really into Thai food lately. Like, um, Kang Pen, I believe it's called. I really like Kang Pen. Name of the song? This is uh, Within by Daft Punk. How much money to draw Rule 34 of yourself? I'll do it for free, baby! I just, uh, I kind of. I don't really see the point right now because I'm trying to keep my, uh, like, my Twitter and shit, like, clean. Uh, so I don't retweet Not Safe For Work art. I don't post Not Safe For Work art, uh, anymore. So I'm not sure where I would end up putting it if I did. Oh my god. <laughs> I it's been so long since I've had to do line art, man. It's so long. <laughs> just make a not safe for work Twitter. Maybe. Maybe chat. It's just the thing is, is I would actually have to draw not safe for work then. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, um, it's not that I don't want to draw not safe for work. I just don't have the time or energy to do a whole lot of art lately. Which is why, like, this is a <laughs> remembering how to draw stream. Because I haven't done any serious art in, like months actual months what's my favorite ice age movie <laughs> um i mean like the first one right i don't know like the first one had had a uh, like soul i don't think the others had as much soul The streams are kind of like art. Yeah, I've sort of been doing art in a different medium for a while. Um, like models and stuff. <laughs> oh no, I'm a cringe Ice Age purist. Mm, I, 
think I'm just gonna put the hair on a layer on top, I think. I don't... I just, like, so just want to keep this as low energy as possible. Favorite Spongebob... See, what's fucked up is I actually didn't grow up on Spongebob. Uh, I didn't have cable when I was growing up. I grew up on, like, PBS Kids chat. <laughs> like, like, a fucking Sesame Street. I don't know. Arthur, yeah. Although, not gonna lie, Arthur kinda slaps. Cyber Chase, yes, fuck! No, but it was always a special treat whenever, like, my siblings and I got to go to a hotel. Because they usually had Spongebob on in the mornings. And, and that was, like, the only time we could ever watch Spongebob was at a hotel. Which also didn't happen very often. Favorite hentai. Guys, I don't watch hentai. I've seen a couple of etchies. I don't particularly like etchies. But, like, I'll watch them with my friends, like, for fun. Zabumafu! I remember Zabumafu! I loved Zabumafu when I was a kid. Thank you for the bits. What's my favorite Adam? God damn it. I... I don't know, chat. I don't... I honestly never want to think about chemistry again. I've talked about this before, but I had the worst chemistry professor in college, and it kind of- it actually made me change my entire major. Because I was gonna go into, like, biology. Um, and this fucking man, like, looked me dead in the eyes and was like, Actually, you're gonna hate chemistry when I'm through with you. Uh, and I did. Just kidding, he never said that, but he practically did. Uh, thank you for the sub, Katus Mew. Thank you, thank you. Opinion on string theory? I like a lot of, um... Yeah, yeah. I really like a lot of physics. I like to learn about it. Sometimes I don't really get it, but I do like it. Oh my god, I gotta... I gotta go to, like, fucking fluff boot camp to relearn how to draw fluff. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Kill me now! Kill me now, chat. Have you seen Anna? I've not seen Anna. Mm -mm. Oh, hold on, I need to stretch. Dude, I should draw full moon form virgin killer. Fuck. You're a goddamn genius. Um, actually, I think one of my favorite bits of fan art I've ever gotten was somebody somebody drew the full moon form like looking over her shoulder at the camera like seductively. <laughs> and I was like and he captioned it as, you would be a coward if you wouldn't. And I fucking love it so much. Which one, Floppa or Bingus? I'm gonna be totally honest. I know this is like Reddit as fuck, but I think Bingus is really cute. I think Floppa's, Floppa's cute, um, but Bingus is so smooth. Actually, what if Floppa and Bingus weren't in a competition? What if they were, like, friends, you know? Actually, Floppa would probably kick Bingus's ass. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
Cone Custodian would like to know what my favorite intercontinental ballistic missile is. <sighs> I don't know. What's the prettiest one? Ice cream. Cookie dough. I like cookie dough. Mm. Actually, if, if instead, uh, what if it, what if, it, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, chat. I don't know what a hand is. <laughs> Kill me. Okay, and we're just gonna we're just gonna close it up like that. Uh, uh, and we're gonna I don't know like that. Does that? Oh, I see. And the clothing fold would come out like that. Okay, I think I <laughs> I think I'm remembering. <laughs> I got it. I did it, chat. Jumping out of fighting games. I've never actually- well, I've played a little bit of Soul Calibur. I didn't get really into it, though. Okay, is that- is that- can, can that be good? Is that okay? Is that good? Okay, we're close enough, chat. How come the Juniper tag isn't in my Twitter bio? Because I forgot to put it in it. And I also just don't care. I would just rather have people tag me so that I didn't have to go looking through the tag. <laughs> mm, have a good night, Holy Milk. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're getting somewhere with this chat. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Hide the thumb behind the sweater. Do you think so? But she's like, hold on. No, I'm doing this with my own hand. And she is definitely gripping. She's just like gripping it. She's just like pulling it forward. Because she's like, I don't know. A tsundere piece of shit. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, this song is Superheroes by Daft Punk. Mm, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Your art is beautiful. Thank you, Nerf. All right, how? Hmm. Oh no, I still have two more hands to draw. Uh... <laughs> No, middle finger is longer. Please. <laughs> I, I'm in hell. <laughs> Do I regret giving her four arms? Fuck no. Hell no. Opinion on ASMR. Uh, ASMR actually works on me. So I guess I only have good feelings towards it. Like, I get the, um, the binaural tingles or whatever. Y'all know what I mean. I mean, the people who actually react to it will know what I mean. Wait, Mori follows me on- No, don't you dare. Don't play with my heart like that. Don't play with my heart like that. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> 
Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. I'm gonna look. <laughs> no, you guys are fucking with me. You guys are fucking with me, but I'm gonna double check, just in case. No fucking way! When?! though <laughs> I'm glad um she was actually one of the reasons I started doing this so that makes me pretty happy I'm um, probably not gonna make like a like a big show out of it but god damn I really thought you guys were just messing with me <laughs> Favorite neck beard? <laughs> I actually, um, I used to, like, when I was younger, I would watch those YouTube videos that were, like, neck beard stories, like, from, from, like, Reddit or whatever. Fruit does too. Yeah, I know Fruit does. I caught that one. Did not catch Callie, though. But, <laughs> like, revisiting them, they're obviously all, like, exaggeratedly fake. Like, I don't- it's so hard to say, okay, alright, fine, I've seen this three times and I'll finally answer it. Who is your favorite FNAF character to get cucked by and why is it Golden Freddy? Uh, Golden Freddy. Okay. <laughs> um. No, dude, they're all so fucking funny because they're always like, um, I'm an incredibly sexy- uh, 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 a girl who knows martial arts and I have a super hot boyfriend, uh, here's the story of how a sweaty neckbeard, uh, said that women aren't allowed to play video games and then got owned. And I'm like, everybody knows this is a fake story. Like, come on. Favorite monkey? Oh shit, I actually have an answer for this. Wait, hold on, hold on. Everybody stop. <laughs> I need to try to look it up. Um, it's like a... Oh no, it's... It, I think it's some kind of marmoset. Is it a golden marmoset? But it's like a species of it. That That's called like a, like a panther marmoset or something. And it's like pure black. And it's like very fluffy and shiny. Or is it just a black- hey, I'm gonna google black marmoset and see what I find. Huh. Well, I found a picture of it. I still don't know what it's called, though. Oh well, whatever. Monkey. Yeah, it's a monkey. That's what it is. I don't think it's a tufted marmoset. The tufted marmosets are kind of ugly. No offense. Um, I'm sure their mother thinks they're very cute. <laughs> and thank you, I appreciate it, uh, Omega Paladin. What's the best version of Ave Marina, Maria and why has it been- Did he do a, an Ave- What? Hold on, I'm googling this. I know it's probably a meme, but we're gonna find out right now. Ben Shapiro, Ave Maria. Oh, oh, I see. It's not ironic. It's just him playing it on a violin. Okay, gotcha. Is it a- I think it might be a gold- yeah, I think it's a Goldie's Marmoset. Yeah, I think you got it. Uh, let me google it real quickly. Goldie's Marmoset. Yeah, it's a Goldie's Marmoset! I think that's my favorite monkey, right there. They're just so shiny. That's why I thought it was like a golden marmoset or something. They're so pretty. I almost did an awesome Maria. I bet, I bet.
If you want legit nice guy nephew stories. Well, that's the thing though, is I don't know if they're actually legit. <laughs> like, I just, I don't know, man. I grew out of it. I don't trust that anymore. Wait, what did I, what? What did I do here? Um. Mm, thank you for the sub, Zar Landris. Uh, hold on, I got some. Uh, there we go. I'm just gonna scribble it in. I don't even care at this point. Do you know that certain species of moths don't have mouths? Uh, it's whack. Yes, actually, uh, the Luna moth is one of them. Uh, but I'm built diff. He also covers this crazy- Lucas Werner! No, don't get me wrong. Um, I am very familiar with Lucas Werner. Lucas Werner is a fucking fruit cup and I love him. I mean, I don't love him. Like he's- <laughs> Like he's maybe a little bit too into minors, but uh... <laughs> but God, the man's a legend. Wait, do you guys not know who Lucas Werner is? Okay, no, let me let me guys tell okay, let me tell you guys about Lucas Werner, okay? Lucas Werner is this uh he's in this incredibly, incredibly infamous like internet lol cow. And and he's this guy who posts on Facebook uh about like how do I explain this? He has a very, very strong interest in genetics and, like, breeding with the primest females. <laughs> so, I, I think lately he's gotten better. He, lately he's been like, if any woman 18 or between the ages of 18 and 20 want to come be fertilized by me, please come find me. Please, I am begging. Uh, yeah, girls 18 to 25 lately. It used to be younger, but I think the internet kind of got his ass for that. No, it's a Facebook account, not a Twitter account. <laughs> He's... Lucas Werner's on some shit. <laughs> yeah, they should only fuck dudes 40 and up. Yeah, it, it, because, I don't know, it has something to do with, like, how he believes, like, genetics works. I'm not exactly sure why... I'm not exactly sure why he thinks... Like, I understand. Whatever. We should probably move on. <laughs> it's... It's... It's a lot. <laughs> um, sorry, Mike. Sorry, Mike. I just slapped it. Move on before we have a gamer mo No, we are. We're moving on. <laughs> I do not condone this man. I do not condone this man, but he is... Uh, a, an absolute nutcase if you are ever interested in looking at him. Ghost Factor Fiction. Damn, I don't know, actually. Oh my god, I need to do the hair. Oh no, I don't want to. <sighs> you should marry him, he sounds like a good husband, right? <laughs> he definitely won't divorce me as soon as I turn 25. And I have less delicious, fertile eggs.
I'm not 25. No, I'm pretty sure it says I'm 21 in my bio. Oh, the moth my model is inspired by? Uh, I'm a Luna moth. I'm too base for my own good? No, chat, to clarify, I don't actually believe any of this shit. <laughs> I don't- <laughs> I do not think a human being loses inherent value by getting older. That is an incredibly fucked up thing to believe. And- like, people who do literally need to go to therapy. But boy, is it funny to joke about. Uh, hair is so hard. You know what? You know what? Paste an egg pill? <laughs> Stop! Stop! Twitter's gonna cancel me! <laughs> Juniper stares into your souls while completely silent. Hold on. Why is my mouth moving? I know it's the wrong focus area. I just didn't want to bother with it. <clears throat> Can you call a scum? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Trash, human scum. I don't know, I don't actually want to abuse my chat, you know? If I'm in the mood and I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll fulfill your fantasies. Um, have I seen the Daft Punk movies Interstellar 5? I have not seen it yet, but I know what you're talking about. Thank you for the gifted sub locked key. Um, oh, hold on. I'm just making sure we're all good here. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. You should watch it as a trip. I will, I will. What's my favorite stage of dementia from the caretaker? Oh my god, don't even make me think about it. Please, no. <laughs> Stop. Actually, something about that album. I mean, I know it's supposed to, but man, that is uncomfy. Favorite stage of grief? Um... Why are these separate layers? What is going on here? Um, hmm. I really like the... I think I really like the anger stage. Mm-hmm. I like to feel alive, chat. <laughs> Do I play gacha games? Actually, no. Um, I started Genshin, and I played like eight hours of it, and then I stopped. I'm not a gotcha head. Music name? Uh, Instant Crush by Daft Punk. Yeah, I know. In retrospect, I'm very glad I did not get taken by the, um, uh, the Genshin craze, because... Boy, oh boy, I am trying to save money and behave, and it looks like everybody is going off the deep end. <laughs> oh, I missed a donation? I'm sorry, let me look. Mm, thank you for the $5, Vital Weirdo. Uh, oh, shit. No, I missed a lot of donations. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I need to make a different sound effect, I think. 
Have you accepted Mothman into your heart? Mothman is my cousin. Uh, thank you for the five dollars, vital weirdo. Thank you for the five dollars, uh, Alien Moth Mom for the win. Thank you. And thank you for the fifty dollars, X Lion Tamer. And it's a message in kanji, I believe, and I can't read it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Everywhere at the end of time is one album. Yeah, no, that boy, that album scares the shit out of me. I never want to listen to it. I listen to like chunks of it. I don't think I'm ever in I would I don't think I'm ever going to be in a mental place to listen to that album without completely freaking out. it all so hard chat why is it all so hard I feel like the head shouldn't be as big in the back can I chug jug with you wait what do you mean I mean hell yeah but like what's up mm, thank you for the sub Alan soy Favorite Disney villain? Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's a great question. I love Hellfire. Hellfire is the best Disney villain song by a fucking long shot. Yeah, I heard what happened to Tomato Town. It's incredibly sad. Hellfire is so good, dude. That whole movie was so, so good. I just, uh, I kind of have this, like, very weird interest in, like, Catholic aesthetics and, like, uh, don't get me, I'm not religious, but, like, I like Catholic aesthetics. I like characters who are, like, priests and shit. I just think that that kind of stuff is really cool. So I really like Frollo as a villain. God, I can't draw hair! <laughs> I can't! Mmm, the witch doctor is pretty cool. So, nuns? Absolutely. Or, like, uh, like fantasy cults who are, like, super, super into their god and being, like, pure and pious and shit, but are secretly, like, very evil. Love that kind of thing. Actually love it. Okay, I might have to go redo some of this hair later, but honestly, I just want to get it done, because fuck hair. If you had to make a video game with your character, what would it be like? Platformer Metroidvania Souls-like? Oh, damn. I don't know. That one animation for Hellfire where it's a woman singing. I think so? I actually, I've seen a, <laughs> a weird number of Hellfire covers by woman before because I was trying to find a specific cover for like a project that I wanted to do one time. But I, for some reason, I haven't seen that one. Mm, thank you for the one dollar, Jimberly. You know that crabs have a smooth brain? That's pretty cool. Oh, also thank you for the $100 Hall Frost. Hall Frost. <laughs> thank you. Uh, payday was yesterday, so here you go. I appreciate it. I've actually drawn Juniper in a nun outfit. Let me see if I can find it for you. Uh, and thank you for the $3 omen. Uh, where will you be during the next random chimp event? Hopefully right in the middle of it. Um, hold on, let me see. Cider Divine? I know I put the word divine in the title somewhere. Oh, here you go. Here you go, chat. It's a little old, but there you go. That's Nun Juniper for you. 
It's old art. But I think it still holds up. Would I want to make another avatar with a different moth species? Probably not. I really like Luna moths. And I really like my color palette. You're welcome, chat. You're welcome. Fuzzy moth butt. Mm-hmm. I like a nice fluffy butt. Mm, thank you for the 100 bits. Do I have a pet snack? I do, actually. Her name is Sterling, and she is a boa constrictor. Uh, right now, my sister is taking care of her because I'm house-sitting and I'm very far away from my house. Do I have any pictures of Sterling? I do, but I keep on having to look it up every time people ask. Um, I might dig it up really quick in just a minute. Yeah, but my sister's having to take care of her and my mom is also, like, chipping in just because my mom is just, like, interested in her. Um, and they finally get to experience, uh, how much of a piece of shit she is. <laughs> no, she's, like, she's not aggressive or anything. She just has, like, a weird amount of personality for a snake. She is a total brat. She actually, uh, one night... When I was... 15, 16, when I it's me, you're Sterling. Oh, hello, cute I snack. Wanted to become a musician. It was oh, wait, what the fuck is this? It was, the dream was so big. Hold on. That's, I think I had about seven, eight songs. Mm. Sorry my model keeps on breaking. I'm in a really weird spot. There we go. That's really- yeah, I'm not skipping it. I just wanted to, uh, get past the dialogue just cause it, um... Just cause it's a little distracting. Oh my god, I cannot... Fuck it, we're doing this. We're just gonna do this. This? Yeah, sure, let's do that. Mm, thank you for the wa- oh! Thank you for the one dollar. You know, most men are average, but my girlfriend still calls me small. Hmm. I, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Wish I could help, but. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars, Gubby. Random question: uh, Have you ever heard of Tool? I've heard of Tool, but I don't listen to Tool. Um. <laughs> Thank you. I'll buy myself a nice latte or something. Man. Anyways. Hey, what the fuck? I just remember that Callie is following me. <laughs> you free your mind about the concept of harmony and of this has been a weird stream. You can do <laughs> this has been such a weird stream. <laughs> it's all good, though. We're having a good time. What brought that up? Well, it was somebody, like, uh, like, uh, uh, directed my attention towards it during stream a little bit earlier. And now I'm just like, oh, huh. Would I make another mode for my OC? I don't know. Not for a while. I know I say that and nobody believes me, though. For those of you who've been following me from the beginning, I lie. I, <laughs> I lie to you and I lie to myself. <laughs> because I tell myself... No, I'm not going to make another model, or no, I'm not going to rework any rigging anytime soon. Uh, and then I have it, like, a whole new fucking model, like, the next day. <laughs> uh, thank you for the gifted sub, ML, ML, meow. What's up with you and that horse movie? Metal Hattie, I'm not fucking doing this again. We're not having this conversation again. I had a mental breakdown over this shit earlier in the stream, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Horse movie? No, we're not doing this. We're not doing it. If somebody wants to understand, they can watch the fucking VOD. I'm not doing this again. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, chat. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Spirit spin-off watch along with chat when- oh my god. I don't- I think I would- okay, I think that would actually get me in trouble, though. Ugh, it makes me so mad. I'm actually tilted. Out of my goddamn mind. Out of my goddamn mind, chat. Hmm. And thank you for the- the bits. Um, <laughs> it's less like lying and more like getting distracted like a moth to a flame. True, true. Wait, is that the horses have eyebrows? No, I'm not- no, I'm not explaining it. I'm not explaining it. I already went on an entire rant about it. Um, let's just say I am very, very, very upset that a specific horse movie is getting a sequel that is <laughs> a crime. Oh my god, one hour and 50 minutes. I'm gonna actually take a break after this. Because I, um, that horses can't throw up. Oh, really? Damn. Sorry for them, I guess. <laughs> I don't like the hair. Mm. Poggy. Drink water. No, make me. Okay, fine, I'll drink a little bit of water. Thank you, Celine, thank you. Yo, Celine is the name of my D&D character's mom. She might be dead. I don't know for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. She was a snack. A yawn tea? I have never made a yawn tea. I will at some point. No, it's not- okay, no, no, no. It's not that she's dead in my lore. I'm saying in the time that we've been apart, I think my DM might have killed her. <laughs> he keeps on giving me hints. He keeps giving me hints. And it's scaring me, chat. Hmm, thank you for the sub, Leo Cup. And Sagittario the Gamer. Have you ever watched The Prince of Egypt? Yes, it was a very good movie. Mm, thank you for the sub. Uh, Uni Edge, hope you're doing well. I'm doing very well, thank you. What's my favorite guilty pleasure? Damn, hold on, I'll think about it. Thank you for the $1 Jim Burley. <laughs> well, my GF just saw me watching you, called me a weeb. Now we're breaking up. Guess I don't have to worry about being small anymore. Perfect. Now you have one less girl in your life. Close your eyes and rise. Um, I'm using a Huey on tablet. Uh, that's the device I'm using to draw. Mm, thank you for the sub, Empower. Hmm, hello, Leo Cup from Italy. Hell yeah, I love that. Not a flexor on anything, but in first grade, I was line leader for a month. Yo, I actually did, um,. I needed an elective in high school, and I was actually in my high school's leadership club for, like, a semester. That shit fucking sucked. Never doing that again, and I never have to, because I don't need to go to high school anymore. 
God, everybody in Leadership Club was such a fucking asshole. Neck floof pet? Okay, fine. I'll give you guys one neck floof pet, okay? Oh, wait. Ah! Oh, oops. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay. We're good. Um, pet. Hmm. Pet, pet, pet. Was I in any other clubs? Yeah, I actually did theater uh, for um, like two or three years. I actually have a lot of like kind of crazy stories from being in theater club, but I think if I wanted to talk about them, I would have to bring my boy Eric on. <laughs> Which, hi, for everybody who is new here, uh, I bring on Eric every once in a while to just talk with me. I have not done it since I started blowing the fuck up because it's just gotten way too busy. Uh, Eric and I went to high school together and we have some fucking crazy stories from high school. <laughs> but he would need to be there. Yeah, Eric, don't worry, you guys will like Eric, he's fun. Oh wait, are you guys asking me if I- if I am a Berserk fan? What, you guys think I'm not a Berserk fan? It would be too much suffering? <laughs> Well, I'm gonna be honest, I've only read the six, uh, the first six volumes of Berserk, so I'm far from being caught up. But I did enjoy my time. Um, this is looking okay, I guess. Eric has the best ara ara. I know, Eric is the one who really brings, like... Eric is the one who gets, gets the boys. I, I only try to get the boys. <laughs> a giga chat. <laughs> What's the time at my place? It's like 2.30 in the afternoon. Say Ara Ara. I don't know if I want to say Ara Ara though, you know? You know? Sometimes people are just like, hey Juniper, you should Ara Ara. And I'm like, what if I don't want to today? <laughs> what if I don't have the energy? People want to hear a good Ara Ara and sometimes I just don't want have the, 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 the energy to do a good Ara Ara. Is my relationship to Mothman? I believe in the current lore he's my cousin and he's also an asshole. Mm, thank you for the one <laughs> Thank you for the one dollar, Jim Burley. My GF is currently burning my fursuit, calling me a cheater, and put all my MLP figures in the toilet. My life is over. No, just pull him back out and lick him clean. Slut. <laughs> Feeling on Land of the Lustrous. I actually really like Land of the Lustrous. Yo, I'm gonna be honest, man. I have no idea why my bot censored the word weeaboo. Let me scroll back up to that shit. What? What the fuck? Why would it censor the word weeaboo? Whatever. <laughs> That's so weird! <laughs> I cannot believe. I can't believe it. All right, all right, guys. All right, guys. All right, boys. All right. Do I have lore? Where can I find it? I have lore. I just kind of... I don't know. I don't really have it anywhere. I have a lore comic. It's like two pages long, and I did it like months and months ago. I'd have to dig it up. Bot is cringe. Bully the bot. Tell it it's a bad, dirty boy. Shinsekai Yori? I'm not familiar. Unless it has an English name I would be more familiar with. Bad Dirty Bot. Alright, so this is what we gotta do with this shit. This is gonna be a little tedious, but it'll be worth it. 
Oh, it's a one. Okay, gotcha. Hmm. Do you ever want to have that comic dubbed? Uh, I don't know. It's a little old. I think if I wanted to do like an actual lore video, I think I would just like. I think I would prepare a new one. And make it like more cinematic, like more for like a video rather than just a comic, because they're two different formats. I uh, think even the bits Robo Doc here I am sitting behind. Uh, oh shit! Hold on. Um, where can I read that? Sitting behind a computer at 1 a.m. <laughs> making settings save system for a game and watching a monster on Twitch. Oh, cool. Alright, let me finish wrapping this shit up. The womb tattoo is not canon. But guys, I'm fucking begging you here. I am on my hands and knees, chat. The womb tattoo is not canon. And any Discord message that says otherwise is edited. <laughs> All right, all right, that's, 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 that's enough whispering, Daft Punk. Thank you. Why do I lie? I don't, I, I beg, hands and knees, chat. On my goddamn hands and knees. Listen to me, Tony. <laughs> don't do this to me. Can we see some tippy toe tapping? Oh, now that's a request I can fulfill. One second. Tippy tap tap. Tip tap 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 tap. Fucking degenerates. No, I'm kidding. I love you. Can you do a proxy war on Sub-Saharan Africa? That sounds problematic. I don't think I'd be able to get away with some war crimes right now. I don't think I'm in the right standing. I don't have enough money to get away with war crimes right now. Wait, my eyes went... <laughs> Am I left or right-handed? Uh, I'm right-handed. Mm -hmm. I'm very normal. Can I... <sighs> oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me read that real quick. I'm almost- I'm probably gonna cut off stream soon because I'm like, a little tired. <laughs> I already had a day. Um, and I'm just, uh, I'm probably gonna need a break from art. Hey, remember last year how you said you liked HWM? Let's just say I did a full armor concept art for a full moon moth, and I would like to send that to you. Oh, shit! Um, can you actually at me on Twitter? I'll at, uh, just at me on Twitter. Um, just telling me who you are or whatever. We need to hit 3k viewers first. No, this is a pretty laid back stream. We're probably not gonna hit 3k viewers. No, I'm not the author of the Moth Dogens, but we actually follow each other. Mm, thank you for the sub, Awaz. We hit 3k earlier? Damn. And nobody told me? <laughs> Children's stories. I don't know if I have any children's stories. Hmm. Oh, oh, 
Oh shit. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, famous toilet. We had 3k, but I talked about horse girls. <laughs> oh, damn. Hmm. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll do me in for sure. But thank you. Oh, I missed a dono? I'm so sorry. I really am trying so hard. <laughs> um, thank you for the $5 seat camp. Mock mother, I have a request. Can you call my boyfriend Thomas Cute? He doesn't believe me, but I think he would believe someone as influential as you. Thanks, mom. Uh, yeah, sure. Here, let me, let me, uh, 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 okay. No, that's good. Uh, Thomas, 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 listen to me. Listen to me, Thomas. Uh, you're, you're very cute, Thomas. You're very cute, Thomas. All right, there you go. <laughs> thank you for the bits, past potato. Yeah, and again, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I, I really appreciate it. Sorry I got distracted very quickly from it. How much work goes into a model like this? Oh my god, so fucking much. Like, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I did three separate streams where I rigged it, and uh, the art, the art alone already is a pain in the ass. We're all Thomas. Yeah, you guys, you're all Thomas. You're all Thomas to me, okay? I don't know this person's boyfriend, but but you're all Thomas to me. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Oh, well. Alright. That's... <laughs> I know, I know. Don't, don't question it, chat. I know it's not gonna make sense, but if you think about it, um, you might be able to come up with your own explanation. I don't know. Um, shit, what was the question? How did I learn how to rig my model? Uh, there's, uh, YouTube tutorials. There's plenty of them. We hit 90k, baby! Oh no! Wait, chat! But I don't know what I'm gonna do for 100k! Yeah, I'll fix my about section. I don't know what to do for 100k, chat. I'm so scared. <laughs> Alright, I need to... Shit. I... Damn. Mic eating ASMR. Should I just chew on my mic for an hour? You guys are freaky, you'll be into that. No, I'm kidding. I'll think of something. I'll think of something special. Even if it's just like a celebratory drinking stream, I'll do it. I've been seeing clips uh, about you on YouTube, and- oh, hold on. Chat was too fast. Can I become a fan? Please keep up the good work. I'll do my best. Thank you, Kenneth. Make a not safe for work Twitter for 24 hours? I mean, I'd probably have to, like, leave it though, right? I'd probably have to keep it if I made a not safe for work Twitter. Cause, uh, I want to put art there. Every once in a while, a girl's gotta draw some lewds, you know? But I can't post them on main, and that's- that's sad. And I don't know where else to post them. <laughs> um... I'm gonna... Uh-oh, hold on. Hey, chat, I might actually have to- <laughs> So somebody's here to pick up my trash. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to end stream right now, because I thought I was gonna be done before this. <laughs> I, I gotta go talk to somebody. So I, I would raid somebody, but unfortunately I'm just out of time. I thought I would be done. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really sudden. I love you guys. I will talk to you soon.